Hey guys, Vim Vic here and welcome to another review. Today we are finally looking at the gang mod from Fumi Vapor. Um, it's an absolute beast of a mod um, with a Camry uh, 60 watt chip inside. Um, <clears throat> before we get properly into it, I'm going to just go down low and show you it up close as much as possible. We'll come back up top and then we'll talk about a lot of stuff because there's a lot to talk about. So we'll see you in two seconds. Okay, guys, here we are up close with the gang mod from Fumi Vapor. Um, I'm just going to go straight in and show you as much as I can of it. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five. And you see the first clue of the evidence here. Uh, Camry, it says when you fire it up. It does have this amazing screen with loads of cool stuff going on. Uh, tells you, you know, the resistance, the voltage, your puff count. Um, the time, the date, the battery life, uh, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so that's pretty cool. These are your up and down buttons for adjusting the wattage. The menu is one, two, three, and you go into the menu and you can go through all the things. It's got things like uh, puff mode and stuff and all that. Vaping mode, so you can set an automated firing sort of thing. Um, <coughs> Sorry, yeah, but that so that's what uh, that's what you can do on there. It's very it's uh, if you've seen a Camry chip before or an SMY chip, it's basically got those features. Um, so looking around the mod, we'll just go as well. I'll take the camera up a bit, and I'll show you the first major problem that we'll probably be talking about a bit during this. Um, so if I pop the cap off this RDA. So you'll be able to see my thumb press, and then you'll see when it actually uh, goes for it. I mean, that's a good few, that's a good nearly two seconds, isn't it? So I'll press now. There's a good pause there, and that that's a uh, that that's probably the biggest complaint across the board of the mod. Um, that that uh, that uh, time it takes to do that fire. So we'll take the RDA off and we'll work our way around the mod. Has a really nice 510, adjustable and all that. Um, no real problems there. Uh, spring loaded and you know it's uh, it, it's very good. No problems with that so far. Obviously it's got these uh, knuckle sections. They are very big. I don't have big hands, but uh, you can fit. Uh, I could fit two fingers in one hole, I reckon. Um, so that's worth pointing out. Um, obviously it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet. The fire button's really nice. Um, it's got this sort of uh, indented sort of feel, this concave feel, which is really, really nice. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so, so that is that. That's the base. You've got some vent holes there. Uh, you've got your screen. Now, to get the to the battery, uh, there's this little groove just here, and you just put your finger in there. And uh, it comes off, and there's your battery in there. That's all you can see in there. That's the battery sled. There is actually one, two, <clears throat> three options available uh, for doors. I quite like this Tokyo style one, but the other one's like an LA style, and the other one's just their logo. Um, but uh, hats off to them for that, uh, I think that's pretty cool. And the battery doesn't rattle at all, and the magnets are really strong. Um, so, yeah, I've showed you about as much as the basics as I can. Uh, I'll give you a little size comparison. Uh, it is a very big, very heavy mod. Um, okay, so, this is it compared to... Uh, can barely fit it on screen here, but this is it compared to an iStick 20 watt. Quite, uh, quite a big boy. And don't forget, the iStick 20 watt's probably got more battery life. Um, <laughs> but uh, we'll go back up top and uh, we'll talk about it a bit more. Okay, guys, that was the gang mod up close. Now let's just get a few things out of the way straight away. Um, it's uh, in the style of a knuckle duster. Now, in no way is this actually a knuckle duster. Uh, if you hit someone with this, with your hand in an open position like that, uh, you'd probably break your hand. Um, so, if you're thinking about getting this to use as a knuckle duster, I would just get a knuckle duster. Um, I would keep your vape separate. 
um, and, <laughs> and buy a knuckle duster. Um, not that I'm advocating violence in any way. The second thing that's, uh, uh, personally to me, I, I don't approve of the name gang mod. Um, a gang isn't a isn't the correct term to be throwing around in the world of vaping, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of negative connotations with gangs, uh, gang violence, gang crime, gang killing. Uh, gangs, unless you're at school, gangs I don't think are particularly cool or uh, the sort of thing you want to be. Uh, I know that Joe wants to sort of create uh, the atmosphere that uh, a, a gang can be a positive thing, a gang of vapors banded together could be a nice community and stuff but I just think the term gang is too laden with uh, problematic um, thoughts and opinions and stuff. Um, so getting into the mod, uh, I showed you bits and bats up close. The main thing that's going to be leveled at this mod as a negative is this and it's the time it takes to vape uh, from pressing fire. I'll just show you that now. So I'll go like that when I actually press the fire button. Probably the easiest thing to do. I mean, it's really frustrating, but it, probably the easiest thing to do is press it and pull it up to your mouth. So, and just get used to doing that if you want to do that. Um, the other thing, the other thing that's part of that as well, it's is a pulse uh, pulse width modulated chip. So, um, the vape goes up and down in terms of the amount of power. Uh, that it's putting out, and I'll I'll try and demonstrate that to you as well by taking a longer draw. I don't know how well I can show you that really, but effectively you feel it when you vape. You know it. You feel it going up to the intended wattage, and after a little bit, it goes. After a little bit, it goes back down again. Um, it's so it's like waves of power. Um, which when you're used to a, a, like a set current, a set instantly hitting the wattage and just maintaining that, it it, it throws you off and it's, it's not a great vape and it's a little bit backwards to what we were doing maybe 18 months ago, 20 months ago. Um, so that, that's, they're both chip related problems, this is a Camry chip. Um, other little gripes, obviously it's very big, it's very heavy, um, it's a single 18650 and uh, it's got these big old finger grooves as well. Um, my advice to uh, Fumi Vapor would be to scrap the chip, um, scrap these loops here, and just have you just have the grips like that. You can hold it really nicely like that, and the the hoops have nothing to do with it. And uh, I would maybe just add a bit of width to it, and I'd do it turn it into a dual parallel mod. Um, the doors are cool. That's a nice touch. Uh, the whole thing is really well built, really well put together. Um, it's pretty flawless in terms of the way it's actually built and put together. It, it, it's a really solid bit of kit. Uh, it's available in stainless steel and black. And I think if it had a Gihi chip in or if it was a dual parallel, I think they wouldn't be too much other than the fact that it's a knuckle duster and uh, the name that I would have uh, problems with. Um, obviously it's a table mod, you know it's a big mod, this isn't going to fit in your pocket and if you took it out you might attract attention from the wrong people as well. Um, so overall um, the actual mod and the actual company and the style um, you know, it's this chip. The chip is the is the main killer. The Camry chip. You know, no temperature control. Uh, it's got that ramp up issue. It's pulse width modulated. The screen and the menu system quite laggy in a way as well. Can be quite frustrating uh, to use. Um, that's. I mean, that's it in a nutshell. The battery life isn't great either. Um, if would I buy this mod as is? No, absolutely not. Um, would I buy this mod if it didn't have these ring holes and it was just like that and uh, it had it was dual parallel would I buy it then yes probably probably would um, it's uh, it, it's 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 a first step for a new company a new company with a lot of potential in my opinion um, 
but uh, I'm really excited to see where they go from here because I think there's a lot of potential at this company and the actual build quality of this is excellent. Uh, so if they can just move that forward with a little bit more of a, a sensible design, uh, I think uh, I think this could be what a company to watch, absolutely. Um, I've done the juice reviews as well. I didn't cover Tokyo. It's like a melon flavor. Melon's usually not my thing, but it's actually quite vapable. I'm vaping it now. Um, I really liked the Venice Beach flavor. Uh, and the DTLA I did not like at all. Um, that was the previous video to this, so go check out the juice review if you want. Uh, but FumiVapor.com, the gang mod, uh, that's all I've got. I'll see you again really soon.